bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that the town is gearing up for one of the biggest Halloween celebrations of the year, with the season's dark and mysterious atmosphere promising to be filled with drama and surprises, especially as Eric's mansion will be the centerpiece of the special celebration. All eyes will be on the Forrester family's Halloween party, which will be attended by the entire family, from Steffi to Ridge and more. But the highlight of the evening will be more than just the festivities, as Hope's daring plans to save her fashion line are on the line. Hope is facing intense pressure from both her family and her job, with her once proud fashion line on the brink of collapse. In a last-ditch effort to save her reputation and her business, Hope decides to turn Halloween into the perfect opportunity for her fashion line. Hope's novel idea is to design a Halloween-inspired lingerie collection with sexy and mysterious details, which is scheduled to be introduced at the party at Eric's mansion. Initially, this decision has mixed reactions within the family. Carter has always been supportive of Hope, feeling that this is a bold and creative move. He believes that this is the opportunity Hope needs to restore her brand, and with Carter's support, Hope puts all her heart into designing this special collection, hoping that it will make a big impression during the festival. However, not everyone is enthusiastic about Hope's idea. Steffi, who usually has a serious and conservative view of the family's fashion line, is not entirely supportive of Hope's boldness. She feels that Halloween is an occasion for fun, but making it the basis for a lingerie line could be a risky move. While Steffi doesn't entirely agree, she can't deny that Hope's idea has the potential to be a hit and could be a turning point for her brand. The rivalry between the two Forrester women looks set to continue, as they both have different views on the future of the brand. Steffi, as a senior executive in the corporation, is concerned that Hope's decision could damage the family's image. On the other hand, Hope believes that creativity and risk-taking are necessary to get her fashion line back on track. This debate will certainly be a big part of the show's upcoming episodes. Will Hope's Halloween lingerie collection be as successful as she hopes? Will these quirky and unconventional designs be enough to attract attention and help her revive her fashion line? Or will this decision turn out to be a huge mistake that will put Hope's career in even more jeopardy? The battle between creativity and conservatism in the Forrester family continues to dominate the show in the coming days. Meanwhile, a storm of violence is brewing, ready to engulf the Forrester family during the upcoming Halloween festival. While the whole town is excitedly preparing for the holiday with bizarre costumes and bustling parties, three mysterious villains are secretly plotting to turn the night into a nightmare. Sheila, Poppy, and Luna three sworn enemies of the Forrester family, are preparing for brutal attacks. Behind their masks, they hide dark plots, aimed directly at Steffi and her loved ones. Sheila is scheming and ruthless, long obsessed with repossessing Finn and her grandson Hayes. Sheila's hatred for Steffi has become uncontrollable, believing that if Steffi were to disappear, she could approach Finn and play the role of the perfect mother and grandmother she had always imagined. Despite her many failed attempts to ruin Steffi's life, Sheila is planning to act with absolute determination this time. She chooses Halloween, when everyone dresses up and hides their identities, to carry out her plan to assassinate Steffi. With a mask on her face, Sheila can easily blend into the crowd without being detected. She believes that this will be her last and only chance to eliminate Steffi and take over Finn and Hayes. Meanwhile, Poppy, an ex-lover of Bill, is also hatching her own evil plan. She cannot accept that Bill is back with Katie and is willing to do anything to destroy Katie's life. Poppy believes that only when Katie disappears from Bill's life can she return and win his heart. In a frenzied mood, Poppy sets her sights on killing Katie on Halloween night. She will take advantage of the chaos of the party at Eric's mansion to do it, believing that when everyone is dressed up, no one will recognize the real murderer. In Poppy's eyes, Katie's death is the shortest way for Bill to return to her, and she does not hesitate to do it. Not only Sheila and Poppy, Luna, Steffi's secret enemy, is also preparing a daring prison break plan. With Mike's help, Luna is ready to escape from prison and return to take revenge on Steffi, whom she believes pushed her into the path of sin. 
In Luna's mind, Steffi is the cause of all her troubles, and only when Steffi is eliminated can she regain her freedom. Luna plans to attend the Halloween party, disguise herself as an unrecognizable character, and find a chance to kill Steffi. She believes that in the crowd of costumes, no one will discover her dark plot. The festival night will be the perfect time for her revenge. The tension continues to rise as the villains prepare for a bloody confrontation. Each character has their own motives, but they all target Steffi and the Forrester family. On this spooky Halloween night, when everyone is immersed in pranks and masks, will anyone realize the danger lurking? Everyone is in costume, so no one knows who is behind these terrible plots. What if Sheila succeeds in killing Steffi? What will happen to Finn and Hayes? And if Poppy kills Katie, will Bill really come back to her, or will his hatred turn him into a complete loathing of her? Especially, will Luna really escape and carry out her revenge plan? or will these plots fail? The big question is whether the Foresters can survive this dangerous Halloween night when their worst enemies are lurking in the shadows, waiting for the right moment to strike. The festival may have just begun, but dark plans are ready to explode and tensions are only rising by the second. Let's wait and see how this terrifying festival ends.